want to switch gears and uh, talk about the abrupt firing of the Inspector General of the State Department yes. after, uh, at, because he's been doing that a lot. He's been firing a lot of watchdogs. After Trump let him go, it was revealed that the Inspector General had been looking into whether Mike Pompeo was using staff to run personal errands at the taxpayer's expense. Pompeo says he has no idea he was being investigated. What stands out to you about this decision to fire uh, yet another watchdog? Well, unfortunately, Sonny, it seems to be what the president does when he hears the truth. Instead of listening to it and adapting to it, he fires people. He's fired four inspector generals. These are our independent watchdogs. They're, reg they're independent of any political party four of them in the last six weeks. The lack of listening to the truth. This is the same president when COVID started, um, said it was a hoax, said it'll go away in a month. He didn't listen to the experts. But when the president doesn't listen to the truth, we all get hurt. There should be a full investigation of these charges. I don't know if they're true, but I certainly want an independent watchdog to investigate them. So, uh, Senator, President Trump has been nonstop tweeting about Obamagate, which stems from allegations Obama and senior officials used government power to spy on Trump's campaign. Can you say with 100 percent certainty that this did not happen and it's all a big Trump conspiracy theory to distract us? Well, I didn't uh, say it. Seventeen intelligence agencies, these are nonpartisan, these are people who've risked their lives for us, CIA, NSA, they said it. This came from the Russians who wanted to divert attention from what they did. And for the Senate and President Trump to spend time on this when we have a COVID crisis is just absolutely absurd. We should be focusing on helping people through this crisis, not pursuing already discredited um, conspiracy theories. It shows his desperation, Senator. But before you go, let's look ahead for a second, because Dr. Fauci said that he couldn't guarantee it if it would be safe to vote in person by Election Day. Trump has called mail-in ballots corrupt, even though he actually voted by absentee ballot himself in the last election. Now, shouldn't people have this option uh, if they don't feel safe going to the polls? And what are you going to do to make sure this happens? Great. In COVID-4, in COVID-4, there's a provision with enough money so that every single person who wants to vote by mail throughout the United States of America can vote by mail. I can understand where maybe by November people don't want to go to the polls, but our right to vote is sacred. We're approaching Memorial Day. Millions of Americans have died for that right to vote, so, you know, brave, brave men and women. And so for the president to try to stop voting by mail is outrageous. This is not Democrat or Republican. And in fact, Joy, the experts don't know who voting by mail helps, which party. But we should know, all Americans should know one thing. We have a right to vote. It's a sacred right. The president ought not stand in the way. The COVID-4 bill passed in the House gives a right of every American to vote by mail, and they send them a ballot. That should happen ASAP.